So Julius, there are two things that are spiky in the studio today. One's my hair and the other one's this from Roby. Definitely not my wit and intelligence, that's for sure. Yes. I like this little guy. Roby are quite unique in the world, hailing from the Czech Republic. Which lots, is, of, lots of things are from the Czech Republic. It's a, it's a clever country and yeah. it, it actually is a, a manufacturing um, country, but its history is in manufacturing mm. and these guys embrace that. Mm. They build almost everything in a series of plants in a little upstate town, which is almost like Robyville. Wow. And then we have this guy, which is four degrees to 28 degrees. Yep, 60 watt RGBW LED. With a variety of effects. Yeah, look, it's not, um, it's not like packed out with effects, but as you can see, it's not exactly uh, big headed for want of a better term. Well, it's, it's, got, it's not, not heavy it's, either. It's no, only, it's, it's like only seven, seven and a half kilos or something. Or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got a, a three facet prism and you can, uh, you can use that with it zoomed at full, you know, sort of full narrow end of the, the zoom and you get these nice sort of teardrop patterns. If you take the prism out, you've got also the thing called the, uh, the, flower, or the flower effect, um, which gives you sort of multicolored rays of light and you can actually see what that looks like if you project it onto a surface it's sort of like looking at the back of the engine yeah any know. idea how fast this thing goes because it was whizzing around it's really it? fast i don't know how fast it goes many, but i would say RPM. more than fast enough yeah yeah um the uh the other reason it can do that is of course that it can do infinite pan and infinite tilt it's on bushes yeah uh, and what is interesting though is if you have it uh just doing pan it yeah. will go faster than if you drive it to pan and tilt at the same time if you tell it to do both it'll actually slow the pan down a little bit to enable the tilt to happen and, and for the uh, to allow the fixture to maintain stability, stability. which i think is really cool i'm amazed how they uh, I mean, this goes to most moving lights, how they maintain the stability of the thing. Yeah, well, Roby's, um, Roby's got uh, quite into the whole sort of, you know, stability uh, as a thing. If you look back to, I think it started with the BMFL, they had the, um, uh, the, the position sort of correction system to, to accommodate things like, you know, uh, avoid the fixture, making trusses swing and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So, look, yeah, as you say, clever manufacturer. Um, uh, 60 watt source, I think uh, this is probably going to be found in large numbers in multiples, on, yeah. on stage. I think so, because at 28 degrees spread, you wouldn't really be lighting a stage, would it? I think um, with 60 watt engine, you probably wouldn't be lighting a stage with it. I don't think the spread's a problem if you get it far enough away, but mm. I think that really it is, it's really sort of more in its own uh, as a beam effect or, or indeed uh, small, sort of with Small the, stages too. Yeah, small Being stages. And, and with that prism, it really, you know, it, it, it's quite a nice little fixture. I yeah. like it. That's nice.